try what we tried so far Hope to win, feel what we keep on feeling But you can Hey babes, welcome back to my channel Thank you guys for tuning back in if you are just coming across this video, hi, my name is Chinway. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I told you guys I would be back next Sunday. I know some of you guys are probably surprised to see me because I always say video next week and then I disappear. But I told you guys this time I'm really going to be consistent. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing, not reviewing, I'm going to be rating items that TikTok made me buy, as you can see in the title down below. Ever since I've gotten on TikTok, I have been influenced, as most of us have, and I've bought in a couple items that I had no business buying, so today I'm gonna be rating each item that I've gotten from TikTok from one through 10. So let's just get started. So the first item I'm going to start with is Lumi Acidifying Body Wash. So right now, this is a product that is going crazy on TikTok. I swear to you, every three videos I watch on TikTok, I see that lady in the Lumi ad. And it's just getting so annoying. It's just honestly getting so annoying. I just, I see Lumi all over, all over TikTok. She did her thing with Lumi. And I actually saw the original video before it went viral um, of the girl Kim. She reviewed Lumi. Now, if you don't know what Lumi is... Basically, it's like their products is supposed to give you like no odor. I got the body wash and they have like deodorant, they have like body cream and it basically it's a full body deodorant and the reason I bought the body wash was because of the girl Kim. She was talking about how she used this body wash and it started like lightening her skin. Like for some of us ladies out there that have like thicker thighs and we have like shafting, is it called shafting or ch chafting? Shafing? Why do I always do this? When your thighs rub together, right? So in, in your inner thighs, it may be a little bit dark. So that's what also was happening to her. And she said she was using the Lumi acidifying body wash and she went to go get wax. And her wax lady was like, um are you bleaching because your spot your inner thighs are now even that's what sold me because i i be shaking in my inner thighs and so i was like i want my inner thighs and my skin to be like all even so i after that video i literally rushed to amazon and i purchased lumi so what's my review on it what's my take on lumi so i will say within like a week my inner thighs were lightening up not gonna lie it was lightening up i was like oh my gosh this product really does work so it for sure does brighten and lighten your skin especially if your skin is just uneven would recommend you for that but i will say that like it was so like my inner thighs is obviously close to my lady part so some of it was like getting in my lady part and it was throwing off my ph like it was just really like because it's really acidic it's called acidifying body wash so it was throwing off my ph balance and you guys are thinking well just be more careful i try to be more careful but like i'm really trying to get like in my inner thighs and so it was just throwing off my ph balance so i stopped using it but when i was using it i will say it does even your skin tone it does lighten it up but the minute you stop using it it goes right back to normal so i will give this a seven out of ten 10 out of 10 because it does work but once you stop using it wherever you were dark at it's gonna go right back to being dark like i don't you just hate that don't you just hate like when you use a product like once it fixes something why can't you just stay fixed like literally i stopped using this like what a week ago and my thighs are already going back to being dark again so <laughs> i rate this like a 7 out of 10 maybe a 6.5 out of 10 because it threw off my ph balance and once you stop using it your skin reverts back so it's like what's the point at this point so yeah i'll give this 7 out of 10 just really not for me but you know you can try it. and then um in one of the lumi ads i saw a comment that was saying like the more you use it like your body just starts to smell worse and i would for sure kind of say that like when i was using this i feel like i started sweating more i that's just how i personally reacted to it 
I saw somebody else in the comments say the same thing. So I know I'm not tripping. I do believe that it does work great for some people, but it did not work great for me. So that's why I gave it the rating that I gave it. So while we are still on Lumi, I also did get the Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. This is what it looks like. So apparently it's supposed to control your odor for 72 hours. I personally don't know why anybody would need their odor controlled for 72 hours if you're taking showers daily. Because um, 72 hours is what, three days? Like, I would hope that you'd wash your pits by then. <laughs> You know what I mean? I would hope that you're showering daily. So it says that it's just basically for your whole body. Um, it helps, it's supposed to like help you like stop sweating and just keep the odor away. So I personally use this for like again between my thighs for the for the shaping. My friend actually said she used this and it really helped her with her shaping. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this a go. So one night I was going out. I put this in between my thighs. Mm -mm not for me this product i just don't think it's for me and this one doesn't have the same benefits as the body wash have the body wash will light in and even your skin tone this one i don't know what it did but it didn't do nothing for me my thighs felt disgusting um i have used like regular deodorant before in between my thighs just to keep it from like rubbing together but i don't know the feeling of this was just gross like i don't know did not like the feeling and i don't like <sighs> It just really didn't do nothing for me so we're gonna give this like a four out of ten i do believe this works great for some people like i said i didn't use this in my on my pits because i like my deodorant that i currently use so i don't have a problem with that my problem is with chafing and trying to even my skin tone and controlling odor but like i just feel like this didn't really do nothing for me so we'll give it a four out of ten but it smells good i got the tangerine flavor so while we are on the topic on even skin tones, you guys know that Good Molecules was all over TikTok at one point. Everybody was raving on this discoloration correcting body treatment. I've used a good chunk of this bottle and I will say this barely did anything for me. I like is it am I like not applying these products correctly? Like I will for sure say that I saw a difference with using the Lumi body wash within like a week to be honest with you this one I was using this for like I swear to you like a month didn't notice a difference I used it I applied it every night I know it says to apply morning and night but I would apply it at night and sometimes in the afternoon when I would rem whenever I would remember I would apply it but I didn't see no difference in my evenness of my skin tone and nothing nothing changed when i use this product right here so we are rating this product a two out of ten <laughs> these brands are gonna be like we're never gonna work with her <laughs> she is rating this too hard but look i'm just being honest here okay so the next product that i want to rate i know you guys saw the topicals ingrown hair roll-on product this was all over TikTok at 1.2. At 1.2. Why does it sound like I'm saying one, like the number 1.2 when I'm just trying to say like at 1.2? You know what I'm saying? Okay, anyways. So this product was all over TikTok at one point, And it's basically supposed to help you if you have ingrown hairs. I am so prone to ingrown hairs down there. It is actually crazy because in my family... We have really thick hair, curly hair. So you already know if you got curly hair, the, the ingrown hair comes out and then shoots right back in, into your skin. So I get ingrown hairs all the time. It is crazy. So then when I heard about this product on TikTok, everybody was talking about, oh my gosh, it's so great. It's so good. It did absolutely nothing for me. I actually, in fact, think it made my ingrown, my ingrown hair worse. Like, I was in so much pain. I would put this on. Like, it did literally nothing for me at all. If you use this and it works for you, let me know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Don't know how I can be. It's literally, it's literally a roll-on. Like, if you just roll it on there, like, what else could I be doing wrong? Like, I don't know. I read the directions and everything. Roll on cream. Cream. Roll on clean, dry, affected area. 
that's exactly what I would do. After my fresh hot shower, I would roll it on my ingrown hair. It did absolutely nothing for me. So we are rating this item a 1 out of 10. Like, just no. Like, TikTok has really made me waste a lot of money because, like, I really give these products a try and it's like, what is, like, actually happening here? Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> The next product I want to review is the Hello Activated Charcoal Toothpaste. I think this went viral at one point. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Kylie Jenner was promoting this toothpaste at one point. This toothpaste went viral. It's literally black. It's charcoal toothpaste. Like, yeah, and it comes in a pack of two. And I get lots of compliments on my teeth. And my smile and how it's so white and I will tell you guys right now I wouldn't say this makes your teeth any whiter than a the normal toothpaste like I feel like things are just hyped because like oh it's a black toothpaste first of all this would ruin my I have my white sink right whenever I would brush my teeth my sink would turn black because of the freaking toothpaste so it ruined my sink. My teeth didn't look any different. It didn't make my smell any whiter. It did absolutely nothing for me. So, like, it, I don't know what the hype was about this toothpaste. If you really want your teeth to be white, I've always said this. I use Crest 3D White Strips Professional White. I always get Professional White. This will have your teeth... Ding! <laughs> If I knew how to edit properly, I'd put that sound, but I don't know how to edit properly. But this is this is what's going to get your teeth white, unless you literally go get veneers or you go get your teeth professionally whitened. There is, uh, you cannot tell me any of these Crest, Colgate, or Hello Toothpaste literally make your teeth whiter. They do not make your teeth whiter, no matter what they say. Your teeth will not appear whiter. What the toothpaste is doing is cleaning your teeth. That's all I feel like it's doing. But as far as having a whiter smell, this is not doing it for you. So I'm giving this a 2 out of 10. I'm going to actually give it a 1 out of 10 because it made my sink dirty. Like, my sink was constantly black because of this toothpaste. Like, no. And it's very pigmented. It's a very pigmented toothpaste. Like, it's crazy. So I would give this toothpaste a 1 out of 10. It doesn't make your teeth whiter. My sink was dirty. And it's just lies just lies like no one out of ten if I'm reading my 3d white strips as you guys can see 10 out of 10 you want a wider smell spend the money you know these strips are like 50 bucks like I know it's like hard to buy them but like it really works and your teeth and your smell will be whiter so I'll rate these strips even though they were in TikTok I rate them a 10 out of 10 so get these if you actually want a wider smile Okay, the next thing that I'm going to review, I know you guys have seen, how do you say this? Salt hair. The salt hair um, body wash all over TikTok. It comes in this color, it comes in nude, it comes in black, and it comes in green. I have the pink one. The pink one, I forgot, I think it's something like, what is the smell? It's like beach or something. I don't remember what the scent, the pink one is, but I don't like the pink one scent. I feel like it smells like it smells like I don't know it smells like one of those oils that you would get at the beauty supply store to put on your hair that's what it literally smells like to me like I don't know why that one's so hyped this is the one that smells the best I this is the body wash that I actually use like before I started using Lumi this was the one that I've always used this one's actually empty I have a fresh one in the shower right now like I love this body wash it smells so good you guys it smells so good and it's moisturizing like do you know when you shower with some body washes you get out the shower and you're so ashy when you use this body wash you don't have to put lotion on you should you should put lotion on but you don't have to you're not going to be ashy i promise you if you shower with this and you wait a couple hours you're not going to be ashy with any other body wash i've ever used i come out the shower so ashy but you can use this one and it's so moisturizing that you literally will not need lotion. But obviously, lotion your body, oil your body, moisture is good. And it smells good. So I would give this body wash... I'm going to give it an 8.5 because I don't like how the product comes out of the, um, <laughs> out of the pump. I'll give it an 8.5, you know, because I feel like... It's aesthetically pleasing. Like, I like how it looks aesthetically, but... 
I like to put a lot of soap on my loofah and I feel like I have to pump this so many times for me to get as much as I want on my loofah. So that's why I give it an 8.5 but besides that I would give it like a 10. It's amazing. So if you don't know about salt, how do you say this? Salt hair. If you don't know about salt hair, get to know. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend you can get this at Target. I'm sure they have it on Amazon as well. Okay, the next product that I'm about to review are the Tasman Uggs. When I tell you, I was influenced to buy this because just straight off looking at the Tasmans, this is not my style. Like, I don't wear stuff like this. Like, I do not wear stuff like the Tasmans. And honestly, I've only worn these shoes maybe twice. I think they're so ugly. I was just honestly influenced to buy them. Um, I will say, like, you guys see the wool in here. It for sure keeps you warm. Okay, my camera just shut off. What was I saying last? <sighs> what does this always happen to me? Um, I think I was just saying that this will keep you really warm. The wool in here is super soft. I just think that these shoes are so ugly. Um, and I dropped makeup in here. I would give it away to somebody, but that's really rude. So... <laughs> I'm not going to give this away because I think that's rude. It has makeup in here and I, I swear to you, I've only worn the shoe twice and it was to the movies. And yeah, they're just really like ugly. Like I was just really influenced by, I just feel like, who did I see wearing? I think I saw Molly Mae from Love Island wearing this and it looks so cute on her. But like, I feel like when I put this on, like I'm not Chen Wei. Like I just don't feel like myself. I just feel like, I just feel like a follower when I'm watching, like when I'm wearing these. And when I did wear them, I felt like a follower because like, this is not my style. And I feel like I'm just, I feel like I was just wearing them because they were hype. They're ugly to me. They are comfortable, but it's nothing like it's, oh, they're so comfortable. No, they're not so comfortable. And if you guys didn't know, the sizing of the Tasmans are very off. Like, I think they run very, very small. So I had to get these in an 11 and I'm a, I'm a 10. But, um, do not like these shoes at all. Um... I probably will give them away to like Goodwill. Whoever finds them at Goodwill, you're very lucky because this was very high in the market at one point, but no, it's just not for me. I would rate this like a five out of 10. Yep, five out of 10 for the Tasman. Uh, it's just, just not for me, just not for me at all, okay? Okay, the next product, I do get asked all the time, what products do I use in my hair? I get compliments on my hair a lot and I would owe that a lot to BioSilk. Can you see them? This is super popular in the urban community. Um, I just love, like, I love this oil like when i tell you your hair will be silky and shiny and one thing about this oil it does not weigh your hair down do you see this do you see how it's at the bottom let me tell you guys a quick story so was it like last weekend um i left the bottle open right i left the bottle open and i think my mom was calling me and my wig was on the table and the whole thing like spilled on my wig I'm literally not kidding. When I came back, my wig was drenched with bio silk oil. That's literally why it's at the bottom, if you guys can see that. It's literally like at the bottom. This is a true story, you guys. This is a true story. I scream because like not my bio silk, like my bio silk was like here and it went all the way down here because it spilled all over my wig. And no, I did not wash my wig. But do you guys see how my wig is not weighed down? Like, I don't, I feel like this oil does not weigh your hair down. Like, you can put a, this is basically more than half of the bottle that spilled on my wig. And look at how my wig is looking. I mean, you can tell it's a bit oily, but like, it's not weighed down. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like, imagine spilling a whole bottle of, like, olive oil on your hair. Your hair is going to be, like, hella stringy. You know, so this just shows you, like, if, you, if I had used a normal amount, it would just be shining and really bouncy and really pretty. And I still feel like it looks really good for more than half of the bottle of oil spilling on my hair. So I love this oil. I highly, highly recommend this oil. I would rate this oil a 9 out of 10. And 9 out of 10. I would have rated it a 10 out of 10 if it didn't look... If it looked more bouncier, you know, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But I'll give it a 9 out of 10. 
because more than half of it spilled on my hair and it's not really weighed down and i promise you didn't wash my hair nothing so yes this is a really good product for your hair if you're looking for some good sheen and bounce if your hair is super dry i recommend this 9 out of 10 for bio silk oil okay so while we are on the topic of oils i know you guys have heard of bio oil Yes, I got this really tiny one because I wanted to test it out before I get the really big one. So, okay, so I was thinking like I just wanted to get out the shower and just have my body oiled up and just feel like a big baby. And so I was like, let me get this bio oil. I've heard so many great things about bio oil. I've seen that all over TikTok and people were saying that this oil smells really good. It's moisturizing. And it, it's, it's supposed to apparently help you with stretch marks and even in your skin tone. So it had a lot of great benefits. I was like, let me give this oil a try. So I will say that it's not moisturizing. Like, I got out the shower. I used it. I felt like my skin, like, soaked it all up. It's not moisturizing at all to me. Um, it didn't even give me, like, a nice, like, shine on my legs. Like, it just wasn't. Like, I feel like I got more shine from using, like, Nivea. So it wasn't moisturizing. I didn't really see the effects of it like helping my skin tone. Maybe I didn't use it long enough, um, but it wasn't moisturizing. It really didn't do much for me. So I'm gonna have to give the bio oil, I'll give it a five out of 10 because it does smell good, but it's not moisturizing. And I didn't use it long enough to see if it actually would even my skin tone. So we're gonna give the bio oil a five out of 10. Okay, the next product is the infamous Stanley Cup. When I tell you, I had no business buying this cup. You guys already know I collect cups. I have two right there. I have three behind this camera. I have a whole basket of little tumblers. Like, I just collect cups. So I bought this. Like, it's just... Why, like, why was the Stanley Cup so high? It's like, I'm really trying to understand, like, what was so... I think no one has really just seen, like, a big cup like this with, like, pretty colors and handles. There, there are cups like that, right? Like, I feel like I have so many pretty cups. Like, I didn't really understand what the hype of the Stanley Cup was. And I got influenced. It was everywhere. People were like, ah, got my... Like, Stanley Cup was everywhere on TikTok last year. You guys know. You guys, was it last year or was it earlier this year? I don't really remember when Stanley Cup really became a thing. But, okay. So, what would I rate the Stanley Cup? Like, I think it's it's pretty. It's a nice, good, large size. You can still look aesthetic when you're holding your Stanley Cup. But, I don't feel like... I don't feel like my ice was in here for more than 24 hours. I don't feel like it really kept my stuff that cold. It kept it cold, but, like, I have other cups like you know that brand called like simply like the one i sells cups like their cups are really good too so i don't really understand the hype of stanley cup but it keeps your water cold but like it's not like nothing that's abnormal like this was just literally hyped for no reason um but i'll give it i'll give it an 8 out of 10 because it's aesthetically pleasing but yeah, I'll give the Stanley Cup an 8 out of 10. I don't really know what the hype was regarding this cup. There was nothing really special about it. Like, there's cups that do everything that a Stanley does, but it was just the name that got out there, and it just took off. And I am a shopaholic, and I fell into the trap, and I bought it for no reason. I had no business. I have so many cups. I had no business buying this. But yeah, 8 out of 10 for the Stanley Cup. Okay, so the next product I'm going to review is L-Glutamine. I feel like at one point on TikTok, you couldn't scroll without hearing or seeing something about L-Glutamine. So what's my review and rating on L-Glutamine? So like, at first people were saying oh, it helps you lose weight. Then it turned into like, oh, it's for people that have gut issues and that really can't use the restroom. And... I'll, you know, I still take L-glutamine every day, you guys. I take L-glutamine every day, and I will say, L-glutamine works. If you have, if you are constipated and you have a hard time going to the restroom, I would highly recommend L-glutamine. Take it on an empty stomach. I take two. I, I'm not an, a health expert. I think they say to take one, like, before a meal or something like that. I don't know. 
I take two. You're supposed to take like I think three a day. I'm not really sure. I just take two at the same time in the morning on an empty stomach and it's really helped me be more regular. I used to like TMI. I used to only use the restroom like twice a week. I used to only use the restroom like twice a week if I was lucky. If I was lucky, it was twice. <laughs> I know it's TMI, but this has really helped me be regular. And yeah, so I would rate L-glutamine, but I won't say it happens like every single day. Maybe like every other day. I'm definitely more regular than I was before. So because of that, I will give L-glutamine an 8.5 out of 10. And you can find this on Amazon. So moving on to my very last product and it was the super fresh lady parts powder protection now this wasn't viral on tiktok but i did see it a couple times on tiktok i reviewed this in one of my amazon videos before um so what do i have to say about this i will say this product i told you guys i've been sweating down there a lot especially when i go to the gym like down there is just like that's that, that's her own machine down there so <laughs> tmi but i was sweating a lot in my lady parts and clearly i'm not the only one for them to make this product so do not judge me okay like leave me alone <laughs> so this product will for sure keep you dry it will for sure keep you dry and it smells really good so i would rub this in between my crevices before the gym and you know on my lady part like on it not in it on it and around it so i can be dry all day especially in this hot houston sun if you are in houston you know that it literally feels like hell outside so your girl has been suffering but i will say this product keeps you dry it smells really good the only downfall of this product is it's messy it's literally messy and when you use it you will have white residue you will have white residue when you use it they do have a purple one and the purple one comes out like clear so you won't have residue but i feel like the purple one doesn't work as good as the pink one so yeah like look at this guys it's white you see you see the flakes like it's just messy when you put it on and then you will have white residue so for that i would rate this a 7.5 but it will keep you dry it does smell good it works but it's messy so we'll give this a 7.5 and i think that's it for all the items that i had to review that tiktok made me buy i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys buy and don't buy some of the items that i mentioned um if you like this kind of videos let me know and i can for sure do more of these kind of videos but yes you guys thank you babes so much for watching and i'll see you babes in my next video bye